Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be my May update for my inventory numbers. So I like to keep track of all of my inventory in a spreadsheet on Google Sheets. And I like to just keep track of what I've used, what I've finished, what I've bought, all that kind of stuff. I have been on a no buy for the past month. If you want to see how I've been doing on that, that is actually Tuesday's video if you want to go check that out. And um, yeah, I'm just going to update you guys on where my numbers are at. I really wanted to get a lot of stuff used up before SAS. So let's go ahead and just get on into it. So I did the last update of this last month, um, about three to four weeks ago. So I think I can just already update you guys on what I've used up in the past month. Um, so looking at my numbers right here, and I will try to link my spreadsheet down below. You guys can like make a copy of it and um, make one yourselves if you want to start tracking your collection. I really recommend it. I think it's like nice for me to be able to see my numbers, especially like even year to year. So like where I was at 2020 versus where I am now, it's a lot different. I like seeing all that. So starting off with my makeup, last month I did buy four makeup products and I used up five. So I only reduced my collection by one. So I went from 146 products to 145. I used up one brow gel and I replaced it. I used up one mascara. I used up one foundation. I used up one concealer and I bought two new ones and I used up one lip balm and then I just like randomly bought an eyeliner totally broke my no buy and bought a random eyeliner um, but yeah that's everything for the uh, makeup category for my body care collection I used up three products and I bought one product so I reduced my collection by two sorry it is raining outside so there's like thunder going on in the background um, but yeah, I did reduce my collection by two, so I went from 86 products to 84 products. I used up one pocket back, I used up one lotion, and I gained one new lotion, um, body lotion, and I also used up one hand cream, so I think that's good that I'm using up more than I'm buying for body care. Um, for candles, I have used up two. I used one single wick and then I exchanged a single wick and didn't get a new one. So um, I technically am down by two candles from last month. I'm actually on track to finish a few wallflowers by the end of the month and probably, probably another candle as well. Yeah, so we're doing pretty good on um, the like home fragrance inventory and i might even finish up a few wax melts before the end of the month um but for now we are down from 31 last month to 29 this month for skincare i actually have done a really good um i haven't actually finished any skincare um i finished like most of all of my things that were almost empty last month so i haven't finished any skincare but i also haven't bought any new skincare so that's stayed steady um, we were at 36 at the beginning of the month and we're still at 36. For hair care, I did actually increase my collection. So I finished off one curly hair product and then I did repurchase a new one, but it came in a two pack. It's like this curl mousse from Herbal Essence. It came in a two pack, so technically I increased my inventory by one with that extra one. I finished off a scalp itch product, which is actually the Living Proof Scalp Care, and I repurchased that. And then I also purchased a new cheese spray. I'm almost empty on my cheese spray, um, like my flat iron heat spray. Um, so I purchased a new one, but I haven't finished off my previous one yet. So I did increase my collection by two. I went from 29 to 31 hair care products. And then I'm going to go ahead and include all of my project use it up and project wax items because I don't usually include that, but I feel like it's necessary for this one. Um, for the month of May, I have already finished off a few different things. I finished off my um, vanilla mocha cafe shower gel i finished off a scrub a body scrub i finished off the twinkling nights body lotion um yeah so so far i finished off three products from that um use it up project and then for my project wax i have already finished up um, my eucalyptus mint single wick and i will go ahead and include the 
eucalyptus rain, not as a use it up, but as a kind of a declutter pretty much, um, since I did exchange it for a different item at Bath & Body Works. Uh, but so far I have not used any other candles in my project wax, um, just that single wick and yeah, I think that's everything to update you guys on. So far, I'm doing really, really good on um, skincare. I need to go ahead and finish up a few hair care items. Um, I do need to finish up a lot of candles. I have been finishing up like four or five candles a month recently, and I don't think I'm gonna finish up that many this month, um, but I do need to finish up a few more. Um, body care, I need to finish up a lot more um, in order for me to feel comfortable buying full-size products at SAS. I think I'm going to end up just buying travel size body care at SAS. I think that's just going to have to happen. Um, and then makeup, I have a few things that I'm like really close to finishing. So I just need to get through those things um, and keep my eye on the prize as far as makeup. But yeah, overall, I feel like I'm doing okay. I'm still buying stuff, but I'm also using up stuff. It's mostly replacements that I'm buying. I really only bought three new things, um, increased my collection by three new things. So I don't think that's too bad. Um, overall, I think I'm doing really good. I need to stay motivated before SAS to finish up a lot of body care. Um, but I think so far I'm doing really well. I am definitely going to do a body care and candle inventory before SAS so that way we can see what my collection looks like um, before I buy during SAS. I'm hoping I can be a little stingy and not buy too much, but we'll just have to see how it works out. If I find some crazy stuff, then I'll have to get it. You know how it goes. Um, but that's everything for the inventory update. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below um, something that you're really proud of finishing up in the last month or like what part of your collection you're proud of. I'm actually pretty proud of my skincare. I've gotten it to a really manageable um, size and I don't have too many like backup products, which is really good. Um, I don't want things to go bad before I can finish them. And that's really why I have this whole Project Use It Up, Project Wax, and I'm tracking my collection, um, just because I wanna not be wasteful with the stuff that I purchase. So that's everything for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.